Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about the Baja Bug a little bit. We're gonna be working on the front spindles. As you can see, I already took them off, took the front hubs off. The uh, spuds used to be the one inch, little ones here. You can see the difference. We're going with the inch and a quarter. So we got the new backing plates. So I went ahead and I plasma cut them off. Uh, this one, I still need to clean it up quite a bit. It's got a lot of the extra metal material inside there. So this one, I went ahead and cleaned it up. I got a little bit more prep, make sure that these are the right angle. Let's see here, here's the old one that I cut off. So these used to sit in here like this. So what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna cut this one down to the proper size so it fits properly. Um, then we're going to press it in from this side. Actually, it goes right in. But we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna weld the uh, top and the inside here. And then we're gonna weld it to the spindle. So that way we have our new hubs here, the bigger bearings. So we have our new hubs going on and then we have our billet brake calipers and our weld on caliper brackets. There's both of our calipers. So we're gonna be able to go ahead and fully complete these front spindles, get them back on the bug. And then I think that is going to complete our front end. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse me welding and cutting it up. And let's go ahead and get it all put back together. So here we go, got it all cut up. Fits nicely on there. It's a nice little step down. So then what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and weld this in here, see if I don't make it full. Weld that in there. Weld it both sides, and I'm gonna weld it to it. So let's go ahead and get welding. Alright guys, so here we go. Got it fully welded up. Inside and the outside. We're gonna go ahead and put it on here. We're gonna weld it on. We're gonna weld all the way around the three sides and then we're gonna weld the three sides on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and weld it up. go fully welded up check it out got the inside welded so there's that one so now we got to go ahead and put the uh the bearings and the hub on and then we can go ahead and put the brake caliber on then we can weld the caliper mount to the spindle and then we can have the driver side spindle done so here we go All right, so here we go. Got everything all welded up. All of these, inside and outside. I'll show you the other one here. There's that. There's the inside, kind of hard to see. But so now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm not gonna put the seal on for now. I have to take it all back apart, paint this. So I'm gonna leave the seal set to the side. All right, so the battery just died, new battery. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna have to go ahead and press this bearing on. So this one's gonna have to sit down in there. And then the hub will go on top of that and then this smaller bearing will go on and it'll sit right there and it'll sandwich it together. And we're gonna go ahead and bolt it up and we're gonna torque it up. And then we're gonna put the brake caliper on. We're gonna line up the brake caliper bracket and I'm gonna trim it all to where it fits properly and we're gonna weld that in place so that way the actual full spindle has all the welding done and then we can go ahead and paint it so let's go ahead and do that all 
All right, so now that we have the hub on the spindle, I have the uh, weld on brake caliper bracket bolted on to the caliper. Just temporarily did three washers. I'm gonna have to go get a little bit shorter screws, which this is what came with it. Just kind of shocking, but uh, they're a little bit too long. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see through the hole in there, but brake caliper is definitely sitting too high. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cut one inch off, lower it down, see where it sits. Yeah, right here, I think you can see. See, it's quite a way down off the pad. So I gotta get that up into there a little bit better. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna hack off one inch, see where it's at, and then I'm gonna slowly do it from there. Just make sure I get it all in place properly before we weld anything or do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing that. All right, so here we go. Got it really close. As you can see, rotor is perfectly at the top of the pad. So a little trick that I have learned, seen on some other videos on YouTube is if you take weld wire, it's perfect for getting proper spacing. I don't know if you can see, but the rotor is almost dead center within the pads and it's holding this pad up against the side there. So everything in, inside there is lining up perfectly. Only thing is brackets hanging off quite a bit that way and a little bit that way. So I, w I went ahead and marked it. I'm going to go ahead and just put little lines just to give it a better, more even flow. So I'm going to hack the corners off, smooth it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and tack it in place, take everything apart and fully weld it in place for good. So that worked out perfect. All I had to do was take off that one, one cut at one inch and it lined up literally perfectly so that's gonna work out nicely so let's go ahead and trim it up get it welded on and get it all back together Got that tacked in place. Gonna go ahead and take the brake caliber back off, take the hub back off, and then I'll weld both sides of the bracket there. All right, so here we go. Let me get some light in there. Got the inside welded, the outside welded. So there we go. This one's done. Gonna go ahead and do the other one. I'm just gonna go ahead and just time lapse the whole thing.
Got some paint on them, on the back sides anyway. Got two coats on there, gonna let it dry and then gonna flip it over. All right, so here we go, final assembly. We have high, high temperature bearing grease. So you're gonna have to go ahead and pack the bearings. This is the messy part. Really simple, you just pack it in there. I'm gonna try to quickly assemble one and then I'll just time lapse the second one so it doesn't get too boring. So, normally I'd be doing this with gloves, but they are apparently made of gold right now with Corona. So, I just went to Raleigh's to get some and they did not, have, well, they had three boxes, $40 a box. It's normally $12, $14 a box. Like, I'm not paying that. Quickly, 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 get it in there. So. And then it's okay to have a lot, you need a lot. So there's that one, that will be the front one. Or wipe up. part of this. Alright, you gotta get your seal on here. see seal and bearing is in there the fun part is getting it to slide down oh, 
tell me that I actually just went right on. Look at that. That'll never happen again. Same thing here. Get the slide on. Look at that. Two for two. Alright, then you get your nut on here. And then there is also dust cover, which goes on here. I already put the O-ring in here. So that's gonna go on there, and then you have five screws. What I would like to do first, though, I would like to get it on the car, properly torque it, and then there's a uh, there's a lock screw here. I wanna get all that locked down before I go ahead and bolt this on. So it's as simple as that. And then I can get the... Uh, Quick caliper here on. So, and like I said, I will swap these bolts out later. This will get it so it's on the car so we can start running brake lines and just finish things up before we finalize everything. Alright. There you go. Number one completed. All right, we got them all fully put on, fully bolted up. Everything's tightened down, torqued down. Show you this side. Everything's good to go. Um, all I have to do now is uh, properly torque down the bearing bolt here, and then I'm gonna put the dust covers on, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. That's not really that important to see. So. That's going to be a wrap. So thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Peace out.